He's an American action icon who has become synonymous with the 1970s and 80s. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the career and comeback of actor Sylvester Stallone. It's over! Nothing is over! Nothing! You just don't turn it off! Born on July 6, 1946, in Hell's Kitchen, New York, he suffered nerve damage to his face during childbirth due to complications during pregnancy. The misuse of forceps accidentally severed a nerve causing him paralysis in parts of his face, resulting in his signature speech and drooping lower lip. In the 1960s, Stallone attended beauty school, but dropped out when he won a scholarship to study drama at the American College of Switzerland. After returning home, he pursued a Bachelor of Arts degree at the University of Miami before seeking work as an actor. Finding it difficult to not only break into the film industry, but also even to survive as an actor, Stallone's film debut was in the 1970s softcore porn The Party at Kitty and Studs. Shockingly, the film was later renamed The Italian Stallion due to his sudden rise to worldwide superstardom in 1976, when he brought boxer Rocky to life. Before this, Stallone had only been cast as an extra and starred in the gang drama The Lords of Flatbush. But it was the rags-to-riches story of Rocky Balboa that prompted a high demand for the actor, and several subsequent returns to the iconic role that made him a star. Rocky, you went the distance, you went the 15 rounds, how do you feel? All right, it's all right. What are you thinking about when that buzzer sounds uh, for that line? What are you thinking about when the 15th round uh, you're coming out? Adrian! Adrian! When not in the boxing ring, Stallone starred in several highly praised projects. These roles included a union organizer in the drama Fist, and a con artist in Paradise Alley. Stallone took on another iconic role when he became Vietnam War veteran Rambo in 1982's First Blood. Don't push it, I'll give you a war you won't believe. Dominating the box office, the actor was praised for adding complex and emotional dimensions to the character rather than going through the motions of an ordinary action flick. Stallone then spent the 80s bouncing back and forth between Rambo and Rocky, with each sequel getting less praise and attention than the last. Rounding out the decade, he starred alongside Kurt Russell in the buddy action comedy Tango and Cash. Think he's telling the truth? I don't know, but it's not raining, and he's standing in a puddle. Disgusting. The early 90s weren't kind to the actor. The film Stop or My Mom Will Shoot was both panned critically and commercially, and quickly hailed as his worst project. Luckily, he made a comeback with a string of back-to-back -back hits. These included his role as a mountain climber and rescue worker caught in a deadly situation in Cliffhanger, as a cop unfrozen in the future in Demolition Man, and as an explosions expert in 1994's The Specialist. You like watching them die? You like taking them down? No, I'm taking you down. It was his international appeal that managed to save Judge Dredd from becoming a box office disaster. He then increased his appeal by starring opposite Antonio Banderas in Assassins, before starring in the disaster film Daylight. I know you've been through hell down here, I can see that, but I'm just asking you to be patient. Stallone ended the 90s in the highly acclaimed role of a cop surrounded by police force corruption in Copland, and by lending his voice to the computer animated feature Ants. Unfortunately, he soon received a Razzie Award for Worst Actor in 2000. Interestingly, it was based on 95% of the films he had done in his career rather than for a single movie part. With a career that was clearly on a downward spiral, he took a three-year hiatus from filmmaking to plan his comeback with a sixth Rocky film and fourth adventure as John Rambo. Amazingly, the long pause between installments spurred tremendous fan interest, and the project showed that even in his 60s, he could still hold his own as an action star. In 2010, Stallone then starred in, wrote, and directed the big-budget action film The Expendables. Notable for paying tribute to action films of the 80s and 90s, it starred an array of action veterans from those decades as hired guns on a mission to overturn a cold-blooded despot. The film also further demonstrated the star's refusal to let his age stop him from thrilling audiences. Are you crazy? You're gonna kill me! You're welcome! 